All right, here we go and hope to goodness that I don't knock over the tripod. I'm using a, um, the extender uh, for the thing here, so it's probably mind-bogglingly top-heavy at the moment. But um, I do want to kind of show a little bit more of the close-up close, uh, close -up bits before, yeah, I've got to just, yet again, devote some time to uh, doing, uh, doing up the gantry prob uh, properly again and uh, not relying on this webcam that's about, uh, way above me. Um, hold on here, I'm just going to take a quick sip of coffee. I will say this, uh, Zoe had some of my coffee at, uh, at my strength last night and she says, okay, yes, you are drinking a ridiculous amount of coffee, but it's certainly not. Uh, she's like, you know, it's relatively watery. So I was like, okay, good. Okay, so here we go. I'm not going to show you what I'm doing here. It's all been written. Uh, actually, I'll flip on over here. I did, so I just did the master type of, um, I will grab the the uh, combat uh, combat thing. So yeah, maybe I'm going to have to walk back and forth a little bit, but you can see here, I just did a very quick uh, Coles Notes type of thing, like very, uh, I would call like very high up uh, division. Well, it'd be the army, dude. Um, uh, the First Army Direct guy, um, uh, Victor Donkel, basically saying what uh, what's going on here. Um, yep, it is him. Uh, is it? Hold on. I better check that. Yes, it is. Okay. So, yeah, and he's just uh, basically just moving some troops around and reassigning um, who's going where. I decided I wanted to, like, move some of the... the um, the Hotzendorf divisions over here and move some of the Landwehr Brigade. Some of the troops that are not, you know, historically wouldn't be, well, yeah, I, well, even though the Hotzendorfs are not real, you know what I mean, uh, fortress garrison troops. I don't want them along the front line, so they're going to be just basically protecting areas that are not probably going to be nailed. This here is going to be a whole other kettle of fish we'll talk about later, but this is coming up real quick. Um, because I think I'm only going to be doing one combat over here, uh, and that's what I'm going to be talking about uh, right here. Well, we may not. Uh, I'm, I'm um, basically giving it a 50-50. We're calling it in, saying, uh, if you guys want us to, and I'll show you why uh, in a minute, at least from my, my brains, but once we get to here, um, I... It's basically Operation Kielce, as far as I'm concerned. Really, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's weird to think too, like way up here you can't see it. I don't like, well I guess that's the bad thing about not using the overhead, is uh, way over there. Politically, it's, um, I would, you know, and I would say a lot of other people would agree too. Politically, it's more um, prudent to get rid of the uh, Russian troops in East Prussia, but mer militarily or whatever, or that way I'm looking at it, it makes much more sense to break the Russian spine right here. Uh, and you know, cut these big, huge. Oh, you just, you're just in heaven. After that, um, but anyways, we won't get it. Like, but that's not their. It's not their call. Anyways, so that's going to happen, though. I can. Uh, I think it's going to be a monster push to take Kielce, uh this turn, and I think it can happen. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just so many strength points and supply points sitting there. It's just nuts. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, when I was looking over here, and I, I, I think you can, yeah, you can see it, good. Um, how is it? I know it's not front and center. Um, should I have, you know, let's not start moving things around. Maybe I'll just move it out a little bit. I'll just shush, just leave it alone. Anyways, uh, when I look at the combat stuff here, basically, if I don't use, uh, if the, um, if, what core are you? You're... Hold on you would be uh, 6th Corps, Von Opovar. Um I do believe, number two, yep, I just need to, I should have popped the, uh, popped this little uh, doohickey over here. Uh, so that, this is, yeah, where, where's the 6th Corps, uh, I should have, uh, have a little, uh, maybe it fell off or something, or I got him upside down. Um, so he's, because uh, I should have seen the little Roman numerals here, six, and I don't see them anywhere. Nope, because that's the, the green first over there. Anyways, this is Von Opovar, and without any supply points and the effective attacking strength points, including with uh, for, uh, Second Army Direct over here, 
to attack this position, would, uh, the most we can get, uh, the Austro-Hungarians could get is four attacking strength points. It's one in six chance of um, uh, forcing a retreat if the person only has enough, uh, or three or less, or whatever, you know, that thing. But I don't even know what you can see, but I'm just tell, uh, just showing you what's going on here. Now, if they do fully supply the attack, which is kind of, uh, so that would be seven here, so um, Op von Opervar would need um, would need two strength po uh, two supply points, and that's the maximum a core HQ can uh, supply for an attack anyway, so that's perfect. And yep, all within range. I just have to make sure, I know I railed somebody this away, but I'm not sure if we railed anybody that away. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take a look. Um, that would really suck. Uh, because I need to get the uh, some of these points over here, uh, so that and then that would be uh, one supply point unsupplied from uh, Second Army direct across the major river here for a total of eight, and that's a massive difference um, with the minus two. Um, if I don't know if you can see that. So as long as the Austro-Hungarians didn't roll a one, uh, as far as I know, they would uh, be able to um, inflict at least one hit. Um, I think you can see it. There we go. Oh, could he? I can kind of uh, halfway see the um, the camera. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to do the actual attack because I would ha I have to start uh, doing a lot of play-by-play -play book uh, lookup stuff. I'm just going to roll one. I'm going to say, you know what? Von Opervar says, you know what? I think it is rather... It's, um, I got them each um, any which way I want uh, in a sense here. At first I was thinking, I don't know if I really actually want to attack them right now. I think I would rather have somebody cross the river then we attack them if they still want to make a stand uh, across the river here. But um, I've got them any which way uh, I want in the sense that even if, let's say, uh, they do re retreat here and then uh, decide to start making a stand as in, oh, we're uh, across the, you know, uh, we're going to try to force you. I've always, I've got more people that I can get across now as far as I know. They can't get anywhere. They can't be everywhere as far as I'm concerned anymore. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're just going to roll. It's going to be a 50-50 chance. Uh, one to three, uh, Von Opovar gets his uh, two supply points and says, okay, well, we will make a push. And uh, yeah, I don't think... it. I think they'll probably run out of time. We'll see. But I don't know how... Um, how far the Austro-Hungarians can uh, push the Russians back before the end of November and these guys are allowed to entrench uh, you know and and form this line. It's gonna be a funky looking thing I can tell you that much come January but uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go I'm just gonna roll and then that'll be that um, and I'll see if you can see if you can. Good. I just don't wanna... Yet again I almost knocked the thing here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, like I said, I like using this extra thing after Meandering Mike was talking about randomization and size of dice and, um, uh, you know, all kinds of things. Oh my gosh, I did see, uh, and I didn't bring it up yet in the live stream two weeks in a row now. Uh, it's in the link, so you can go take a look. It's about uh, something about uh, probability and uh, like why to use D12s or D10s and so on. And so on. I was actually talking to Zoe last night about uh, why I'm not a big fan of D10s. It's just I don't like the shape. Uh, I love the dodecahedron. I just think it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful shape. All right, here. So one to three, uh, they'll... How about this? Let's do something a bit different for once. Uh, one to three, they'll get it. Four to six, they don't. Uh, how about that? Is that crazy? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's supposedly random. So, they don't get it, and there won't be an attack. So, that'll be a quick video for me for the attack. So, somebody said no. Bravich or whoever said no, uh, we're going to hold on. Or maybe it is also part of that thing. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write it into the narrative. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember, but this is because uh, the glasses fell over and knocked my counters all over the place. And when I had to re-put some things down, I thought, ooh, ooh, I may have made a mistake, uh, um, so I have to recheck. So maybe I'm just going to say we're not really actually sure if we do have uh, the ammunition ready sitting on rail cars or whatever. Um, so sorry, we would love to give them to you, but we can't. Ah, awesome. Okay, that was that was easy. All right, see you later.